As we consider the Lord's model prayer in Matthew chapter 6, one of the things that we see is, as he says in verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. He goes on at the end of that prayer in verses 14 and 15 and says, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Now this sounds like, and some people have, have misconstrued this, that, that that sounds like if you want to be saved or forgiven, that you've got to forgive others. But when we talk about salvation, we are talking about judicial forgiveness from the penalty of sin. Jesus dealt with all of that on the cross, and we put our faith in him. We are forgiven. We're forgiven for past, present, uh, future sins. Those are, those are forgiven. They, they are not going to be used to condemn us. However, we're talking about our walk with a loving Heavenly Father here. And Jesus says that something that can disrupt our fellowship and our prayer life is our inability to forgive others. Our Heavenly Father requires us to forgive others. Why? Because he's forgiven us. He's forgiven us. In Mark, Jesus goes on there and he says in chapter 11, verse 25, and when you stand praying, forgive. If you have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Once again, this is not talking about salvation. This is talking to people who are saved. This is talking about fellowship. This is talking about a rich prayer life and not having anything come between us and God in our prayer life. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 it says, and be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. And so here we have the key uh, to how do I forgive someone who's wronged me? Well, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven us. How did God forgive us? Well, Christ paid for those sins. It's unbelievably costly, uh, but it's free to us. And so, so Christ paid for them, therefore God forgives us. How can we hold someone accountable to something that's already been paid for when we ourselves have had our debts relieved? That's, that's the point. And so... Our walk in this world and our interactions with other people are very important to our prayer life. And as we pray for forgiveness and as we are reminded of the forgiveness that we have in Christ as we pray and we confess our sins to God and we receive forgiveness and cleansing, we are called to pass that on. Now, I can't, I can't cleanse someone else of their sins, but I can release them from the debt that I'm holding them to. And that's what forgiveness is when I pass that on to others. This is tied to prayer. It's tied to prayer very intimately and closely by the Lord Jesus Christ. And so that helps us understand that if we're going to have a, a vital prayer life and we're going to have our prayers answered, that it's very important that we take seriously the fact that we're called to forgive others. And sometimes we need help with this, as in, and it's a matter of prayer. As we go to the Lord and we confess and we say, Lord, please forgive me. I'm bitter to so-and-so, and I'm having a hard time forgiving them. But your word says I need to forgive them, so would you please help me? And he will, and he does. And I just want to encourage you this morning. Freely you have received, freely give. We, we can't hold people uh, to, to some standard that, that God doesn't hold us to because he's released us from that because our sins have been paid. Don't ever think that, that, that these things are just wiped under the rug. That's not the case. Christ paid for them on the cross. And that's how we are able to not only be forgiven ourselves, but to forgive others. Listen, I just wanna encourage you today. There is forgiveness in Christ. If you'll go to him, he will forgive you of your sins. He will walk intimately with you through this life and he will help you to forgive others. God bless you. Have a great day.